Hey guys, Matt the Greeter, the Hanjo. Oh, I think we're rolling here. It's hard to hear. Pretty windy today. I mean, the trees aren't moving right now, but I'm telling you, it's it's windy today. Ah, uh, this is take three. Take three. Take three of today's episode. I don't usually do this. I'm usually uh, off the cuff. I just I just spiel away, spiel away, and uh, and there we go. Uh, what's up, dude? I like that jacket. What's up, man? My friend Al had that. Hey, actually, you know what? That was the ha, that was the the Trenton mesh. That was the jacket that I was trying to get when I got this jacket, and uh, I like that jacket. The Trenton mesh is super nice, uh, but I really like the one I have. Look, she's walking with Jesse. <laughs> All right, what do we got? A sewing machine over there? We got a heartbeat, a sewing machine. Uh, an incomplete heart. So maybe need, maybe you need a little bypass or something or, or whatever. I'm not a. I don't know what happens when you got a leaky ventricle, and then but the heart's beating on the other side. So I guess that's good. <coughs> I don't know. I like bumper stickers. My wife does not like bumper stickers, uh, which is great. Uh, so her car does not have bumper stickers, and it looks just fine. I like bumper stickers, and so I have bumper stickers. I mean, I have them on my bike. Some people don't like that. Yeah, put stickers on a motorcycle. What are you? It's a Harley Davidson. That's look the paint. Blah blah blah. You can't put stickers. Rah, 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 rah. Well, I got stickers on mine, so you can have a nice, clean-looking gas tank if you want. Be happy, bud. <laughs> right there, you go. Anyhow, I want to tell you a story today about physics class in high school. And uh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I didn't really have much business taking physics in high school however uh, some of my friends were taking physics in high school and uh, I wanted to be with my friends so I took physics in high school oh I would love to pass this car there's a line of cars behind me and I don't know if there's a there's a cop in there so uh, this is such a this is such a speediferous road when there's nobody on it. Now, she, obviously, she's walking with Jesus. If she was driving with Jesus, she'd be going the speed limit. So, anyhow, uh, yeah, so high school physics. I did the whole year without a scientific calculator, which was a big mistake. Actually, the, the big mistake was <laughs> taking physics, probably. And, uh, see, I'd pass now, but there's a... See that curve? You see that curve yonder? There's a police like to sit there sometimes I tucked in on the left side and so I, I'm not much of a speeder I would pass this driver and then and then slow down but it would be just my luck that I'd be going a little a little spicy when I passed so you know, that's why I'm not I, what I should do is just relax right well, hey relax aha see you see what I'm talking about there Nothing better to do in this town. Move to this town because the police have nothing better to do except pull over uh, unsuspecting travelers. So, high school physics class. I think the reason I passed, barely, was, I, this may not actually be the reason, but my teacher was a former student of my dad. My dad was an English teacher for 31 years. So one of his former students went on to become a high school physics teacher. And I was her student. And so, because she was cute, I stayed, I mean, because I needed the extra help, uh, I, stayed, I stayed after school anytime it was offered. Uh, I raised my hand a lot uh, because I crave attention. I mean, I was, praving, uh, I was craving uh, credits. I needed, I needed all the help I could get. So I managed to pass the class, I think with like a D plus, you know, or something like that. So anyhow, the lesson that sticks in my head, of which there are many, actually she must have been a good teacher because the lessons, a lot of the lessons actually did stick in my head. And, uh, <clears throat> or maybe I just really like the concept of physics, although not enough to, to have continued studying it. So, we went out behind the school, there was a long flat strip of pavement between the, uh, <clears throat> the main building and the athletic fields. So. We went out there, this is the old school days. 
the objective was the physics teacher had her car parked at one end teams of four were assembled and each team would take a turn pushing her car and getting up as much speed as possible when we crossed a chalk line that was drawn about halfway or a quarter of the way we let go of the bumper and see how far the car would coast before it came to a stop so my team <clears throat> was uh, me and a couple of friends we were all very active uh, athletic I was playing a lot of basketball and, and riding my bicycle and blah 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 so we were pretty athletic and then and then another friend of mine uh, who was he was uh, he had oh, let's say that Dungeons and Dragons physique <laughs> so uh, maybe not necessarily uh, 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 fine-tuned to the uh, the athletic arts I'll put it that way super nice guy uh, good taste in music and uh, he got kind of saddled in with us so time to push the car so she the physics teachers in the driver's seat the car is in neutral she has the brake on and I don't know if she blew a whistle or did whatever took her foot off the brake and off we go push 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 dig 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 you can hear the the shouts of approval uh, of our other friends fading away in the background as we're as we're gaining speed and then we cross the chalk line three people let go of the bumper my other friend did not let go of the bumper and everyone's yelling let go of the bumper let go of the bumper and you know he's here's a here's a guy probably feet unaccustomed to running uh much and 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 his top half is doing just fine he's keeping up with the car from the waist up but from the waist down the car is getting further and further and further away and we're yelling let go let go and a physics teacher can't see him because he's practically horizontal now and then as you might imagine his feet can't keep up any longer although his hands are doing just fine and he <coughs> begins to drag pants come down <coughs> his tidy whities I should say were spotless <laughs> and uh, so it, clearly this was a young man of, of great bravery and courage and clench because he was perfectly clean but yes he dragged and eventually the car stopped he let go dusted himself off pulled up pulled up his drawers and uh, and I think for the most part we did pretty good uh, we all came away with an additional lesson that day and that lesson friends when life's getting away from you let go of the bumper let go of the bumper and I'll tell you where the metaphor lies in this for me and here's it's confession time one thing you don't know about Matt the Greeter although some of you do and some of you have pieced it together but I was clinging to the bumper of uh, alcohol for 20 years about 20 years and I was getting dragged behind that car of life and I couldn't let go for two decades I got dragged along miserable I was keeping up I was keeping up with the world up top but uh, but I was uh, in reality I was just being dragged against my will because at some point stuff gets away from you or got away from me so far that I didn't know what else to do so I just kept clinging to the bumper so I'll tell you the real blessing of this is that uh, is that I have been sober for over seven and a half years so after such a long and brutal run I managed to to let go of the bumper 
And I'll tell you, I did not do it alone. I had a very good friend who was talking about his life and was saying lots of things that I was like, geez, it sounds just like he's talking about me. And I made a deal, like, if he is here next week, I'm going to talk to him about my problem. And then that, that whole week while I was waiting, I was terrified because either A, he was going to be there and I would have to talk to him because I made a deal with myself, or B, he wasn't going to be there and I wasn't going to be long for this world. Right? Because I wasn't. I was on I was on my way out. I was I had all the signs and symptoms of a very short run on the planet. So he was there the following week. I ran over, I practically tackled him in the corner and said, I think I have a problem. <laughs> and he said, Come with me. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, man, I've been sober ever since, over seven and a half years. I don't think about things like, will I make it to 10 years? I don't think about that. I just think about, I can make it to midnight tonight. Right? And if my thoughts get awry and I start to look back and glorify the past lifestyle, well, that's why I stay around people like me. <coughs> who are headed in the right direction so I don't so I don't get tricked by that rear view living right I can stay a little more in the present let go of the bumper you know so anyway I just thought I'd, I thought I'd share that metaphor because I think <clears throat> that maybe that physics lesson I mean nothing happened there's no coincidence maybe that physics lesson went down the way it did you know because it had to stay in my head because it was going to become a really important metaphor for my life later on I don't know but uh, I'm grateful for that uh, wonderful teacher I'm grateful for that wonderful metaphor that lesson learned which I did not know to apply for a while and uh, and uh, and I'm grateful every single day for you guys and I'm grateful for the people that keep me on the keep me on the on the path one foot in front of the other one step at a time you know what I'm saying one day at a time so anyway guys Matt the greeter <coughs> I care about you thanks for tuning in and uh, listen if you're uh, if you're clinging onto a bumper somewhere and uh, you just kind of want to uh, talk about it or message back and forth or do whatever send me a private message and uh, I'll be happy to, to talk with you or whatever but uh, yeah shoot me a lesson you don't have to hang out of the bumper any longer you know what I'm saying like today could be your first day keep it up with life <laughs> top half and bottom half <laughs> which is a much better way to live alright guys once I get going here I'm going to let you go Alright guys, Matt the Greeter, I care about you, thanks for riding along, and I'll talk to you soon. Little street sign, you can look, you can look up where I am on, on the map. Alright guys, bye.